Well, now that you've brought up the issue of choice, what about you yourself, Mr. Peterside? Is there a particular candidate that you will vote for and that you would like to see emerge victorious? If so, why have you chosen that particular candidate? You know, in 2015, even before opinion polls came out, I argued publicly that I was going to vote for Good Luck Jonathan. In 2019, I made it very clear I was going to vote for Tiku. In 2023, I, if I'm going to the polls on Saturday, I'm going to vote for Peter B. Not for the reasons that some people think, because I know those candidates. I know three of them quite well. I just have to make a choice. I mean, if, if it, let's say the first among equals. So I'm not trying to run anybody down. So answering your question, why would I vote for Peter B? I I think because it represents a new way, a new path, and not because you are saying you're sure a new path is better. But I even like the idea of a government that does not have absolute majority in the parliament. Because we've seen that absolute majority abused, where people bring some complete nonsense on the economic front, and in advance, they rubber stamped by the whole party. They put Nigeria aside and they approve it. I prefer an arrangement where nobody controls, controls the Senate. Nobody controls House of Rep. You bring something to that place, it had better be in the national interest, or there will be a bloodbath. So it's, it's a new arrangement. Then talking about the individual, People say he has no federal experience. I disagree slightly. I served on the economic management team of Good Luck Jonathan with Pitobi for four years. There were only two governors on the economic management team. There was CBN governor, there was finance minister, there were other people, ministers. Only two governors. Good Luck Jonathan chose them on merit. From the north, he chose Admiral Eniaco. And from the south, he chose Pitobi. So for all of those four years, Peter B was part of the economic management team. All the arguments on fuel subsidy, all the arguments on, on power sector reform, he was present. It was like a period of, period of uh, tutelage. And I tell you one thing, if he was always on the wrong side of every economic argument, I would never vote for him. Because I think we're tired of people being put in a high office who don't fully understand what this economy is about. So it, it has to do with the fact that I believe there's a new arrangement that he represents. Whether it succeeds, it's a different matter. It brings hope. And I think one of the things that people want to buy into is hope. I personally also want, want to buy into hope. But hey, but even if he does not win, I will accept it. At heart, I'm a Democrat. Well, that's... Uh that clears that. Very interesting um, from you, 